Welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video, I want to share with you a resource planning template that I created in Excel. With this file, you can understand if you have enough employees to support your projects. If you have a certain department that you have an issue with, a certain uh, person that you do not have enough work for them, etc., etc. It's a very simple yet effective template and I will walk you through how to build it on your own. Now, as always, if you enjoyed my content, please hit that subscribe button so you will not miss my new videos. The file has two sheets, one called Schedule, which you are seeing right now, and one called Team. In the Team um, sheet is where you define the departments and the names of the people that work in that department. In my case, I'm taking departments from my world of uh, software uh, products. So we have backend, frontend, quality database, and product departments. And here I have just random names that I created using my name generator um, uh, file. If you're not aware of that, you can check it out here in the link above. It's very nice. You can generate random names very easily and quickly. Here on the columns, you can see I have months. So I have a uh, monthly uh, availability uh, table for them. And I started off next year, uh, January 23. And here I just use E-date to uh, jump one month ahead for the full year. And here I just generated random uh, numbers. I have it over here. I generated a random number uh, using RAND. And then I just VLOOKUP to generate fixed numbers between 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1. I just wanted to have nice um, options, not just get every any number between 0 and 1. So I used that and pasted that by value, so I got a nice distribution. Okay, you see every number here is between 0 to 100%. Most of them are 25%. Sorry, not in the... Um, okay. So what this will do, this will populate the, uh, the names. I'm using, you see, transpose, transpose, sort, and offset. Let's break this down step by step. The offset, if you're not familiar, it's a very useful formula to, build, to bring uh, data from, from other uh, locations or sheets or whatever. So offset, it has, you see, uh, five arguments reference is where you're starting so in this case I'm starting over here and in, in the first cell then it asks me how many rows I want to go so imagine you're moving with the mouse so if you press one it moves one if you press two it moves two columns the same thing I just leave it left that open height is basically how many rows you want to add here so I'm going to use count a check how many rows I have here in the data minus one because I don't want the header and width is two meaning I want two columns and once I do that I just get that list you see if I had put let's say five so it starts five rows below that so that's the first step that's the offset now let's you know let's keep that um, then there's the sort the reason I used sort is because I wanted all the departments to be in the same um, area. You can see that I have database and database separated by quality, but here using the sort, they are seen together. That's what the sort does. And the last thing is the transpose, which just transposes, just like you do manually, takes it from this view to this view. So that's, uh, that's how I built this part and why it's very helpful because if now, if I want to add a backend, for example, I just add that here, and immediately you see it's added over here. Of course, it moves all the manual input, so you need to make sure you um, update your table. So that's this part that shows over here. Um, there's a month, a selection month, where you can select a month, and you see the information changes, the availability. That's a simple index match. First of all, the month selection, if you're not familiar with the dropdowns, click a cell, click go to data, 
go to this icon data validation it is always on by default on any value select list and then I just went ahead and selected this area to give me the full year so whatever I change if I change the date here to let's say uh, Ju July start from July then I start from July okay I'll bring that back so when so this is how you select the months the available index match index match is a very help, helpful formula or basically combination matches the match will return the row or column fitting your uh, search and index will basically give you the connection between the two so here I am looking for the array is b1 through n15 so basically this area this is my array I'm looking for a match for the for this column for the name and then a match for the row and then I'm just getting the combination between the name and the month that's all it does so in the match you need to set up what is the value you're looking for what is the array so this is the first column and zero means it's an exact match so this is what's giving me the percentage for each person okay that's those are the, that this part it's pretty clear over here this is all manual um, a through C you need to set up a project in my example I called I have two projects one is called a new app and one is to migrate the data uh, the five departments and I just define manually how many people I need and you can see that whenever uh, the booked which is just the summary of what I have over here when it's not enough it gives me a nice yellow color that's very easy to do with conditional formatting go to home conditional formatting and you can see I have a rule uh, you can just add a new rule use a formula and uh, I say if uh, C sorry D 11 is less than C 11 uh, 1 or 0 then I just have a format I select that's what I did very simple but very effective you can see it over here okay and then you just drag it down and it, it works uh, the booked column is a summary of the column and here you have the percentages that you key in manually now what's also nice here that you see you have gray area that indicates that this is a row for front end and these are beckoned people so you should not um, you know should not uh, schedule them here you can of course it's not blocking you which you can also do by the way you could also block it um, with uh, with protect cheat if you want but that's a little bit more complicated because as shift the things move you need to constantly do that but you can what I did is just some conditional formatting again and you can see the formula I'm checking if b5 in this case the name of the department needed is not the same as the name of the department where this person works if that is the case then I'm just coloring the cell in gray and that just gives you a nice um, view of uh, what you can book and of course I had, had this uh, separator between the projects so if you have another project for example you can just take this paste it over here delete everything and then you can just define I don't know new project you can call it this way and you can say I just need uh, three quality people <coughs> sorry and <100. coughs> one and a half product people and then you can just book um, whoever you want and of course immediately you see I have a problem with the personnel uh, again conditional formatting here for the row it's just checking if there are limitations and you're above the limitation now usually you can build that and that should give you an indication if you can support all the projects or do you need more people or do you need to prioritize work but you can also move within the months and see if you have a certain problem in a certain month 
And of course, using this template, you can actually build this uh, for mo more than one month. You can just create a copy and call this February, for example, call this January, and then you just have every month on its own where you don't have to uh, change the date every time. I just like actually uh, flexibility uh, to be able to see in the same sheet everything. So that's it. If you enjoyed this uh, video, please subscribe, hit that like button, share, and leave a comment if you want to uh, share your thoughts. I'd be happy to read them. Take care now.